Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than Episode. 24. Let me hear it. Episode. 25. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. There's a good bit of questions today, so let's get started right off the bat with EK Starlord. And he says, what are your thoughts on the new Lego Star Wars 2021 rumor list? Alright, so I'm not going to get into too much detail with this because, one, I kind of forgot the list already and I don't have a picture to look at and I'm too lazy to Google it. And two, I just don't want to make the video 50 minutes of me just complaining, I guess. Um, but I will say I'm not too impressed. I, I think it's a little lame that we're only getting um, original trilogy based sets with the exception of one junior set that's going to be a junior's X-Wing, but for the resistance. Um, so it's like another resistance or an, another X-Wing. And apparently there's also an X-Wing in that set, like a play set. So we're getting two X-Wings in one wave, which that's a little weird. Um, I will say I haven't seen any of the sets besides the TIE Fighter. I'm not going to show that in case I get in trouble, but, um, I'm assuming you guys have too. The TIE Fighter, it's okay, but I will say I do like how the prices of these sets are cheaper. This last wave, uh, the summer wave so expensive so this wave is going to be a lot cheaper so that's going to be nice and apparently it's not coming out until february 21st so that's a little disappointing because you know usually we get summer sets or not summer uh new sets like january 1st so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer till the next wave but it gives us time to save up i guess right so um yeah, but I'm not too, too impressed, but I'm not disappointed like some people. Some people are just being absolute babies, let's be honest here. Like, they're just griping and whining, the sets are terrible, why didn't we get any Clone Wars sets, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think getting Clone Wars sets would have been nice, but we gotta keep in mind is, maybe LEGO isn't allowed to make these sets. You know, Disney probably has to approve each thing they can do. And if they're like, hey, can we make Clone Wars sets? And they're like, no, just make original trilogy. You know, and also it takes a long time for the designers to design a set. So it's like these sets might have been being worked on for like two, maybe longer years now. So, and also you should never be too critical because I know this is their job. It's what they're getting paid for. But when you knock somebody's creation like that, it's it's like if you went onto somebody's YouTube channel and complained that their mock is garbage, even if it is, you know, that's essentially what you're doing. But to someone that's getting paid to design a Lego set, you know, they're, that's their baby, if you will. So I'm like, you should never be so mean, right? I don't know that. I just thought I'd throw that in there for somebody. Someone probably agrees with that. Um, but so to really answer your question, all I really had to say is I'm not too impressed, but I'm not also disappointed. So I'm kind of like in the middle. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, our next question also comes from EK Starlet, and he says, Do you think we will get a 332nd Clone Trooper set in 2021? Maybe. I would sure love to see one, but no clue. But I can for sure confirm that there will not be in the first wave of next year. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, our next question comes from Brickman, and he says, Do you think that... A Star Wars CMF series is likely next year. And what sort of characters would you like to see in in a Star Wars CMF series? Oh, man. You know, that would be so cool and also so disappointing, right? So, hear me out, right? It would be amazing to get a CMF series of Star Wars characters. But... I don't want a million R2-D2s, Yodas, C-3PO's, um, like, characters like that, Darth Vader's. So, like, if they did a CMF series, I would want it to just be non-named clone troopers, maybe stormtroopers, first order stormtroopers, stuff like that. So then you can just buy, like... I don't know, however many packs you want, and boom, you guaranteed to get something nice. And it's okay to get duplicates. I know you could make the argument, well, just feel the packs or go on eBay and buy 
um, the ones that you exactly want, but then that costs more or feeling packs isn't always easy. And I don't know. I just, I'm like, and I'm not going to buy a whole case, like a whole box to guarantee to get one of each. So I would like to see a, ser a CM ugh, CMF series of Lego Star Wars, but I don't want named characters like Anakin and Obi-Wan and stuff like that. Um, otherwise people like me that are going to just buy them because they can't really like feel them because my stores don't even always carry those. So I usually have to get them on like lego.com. Um, so then they pick for you. I would end up getting a bunch of duplicates and I don't want that. So, um, I would like to see a CMS series just with non-named characters. And I do actually think it's possible according to all the rumors, um, that, you know, like the has been, ha has been Hasbro deal. And, um, Everything has kind of worn off, and now that Lego can make mini or sell just minifigures, even though I don't count them as action figures, I guess everyone else does. Uh, not you guys, like like the Disney and Lucasfilm and stuff. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, our next question comes from Whoa My the W seven zero seventeen, and he says, "What are your thoughts about the new Lego Yoda lightsaber? I want it." But I can't get it because I can't buy the UCS um, or whatever it's called, um, most Eisley Cantina. So unfortunately, I won't be able to get it. But I think it is beautiful and I would love to have had it. Had, love to have had it. Love to have gotten it and done a review. Maybe someday I'll be able to get it. I don't know. Um, but I really am disappointed. I really thought that it was going to be like spend $75, get bl bl this with purchases of $75 kind of like gift. Um, but nope, not today. So anyways, our next question comes from Wolfie Productions and he says, how many clones do you have and will you ever do a clone army? Question mark. Um, so if I counted correctly, I have 13 clones in my collection, so not very many at all. Um, and honestly, I don't think I'll ever do like a clone army series or video or anything like that because, well, first of all, like I said, I only have 13 clones and I don't plan on buying a bunch of sets to get a bunch of clones or buying them individually. So I don't plan to anytime soon, but someday I'm sure I will. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the next question comes from Doc Jedi Films, and he says, Do you have a partner, girlfriend, or boyfriend? I like women, for the record. I don't know these days, love. <laughs> Enjoy your day and stay safe. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I'm only in, interested in women, just, just saying. Um, and I do not currently have a partner, and I know that some of you might think that's funny, but... It's, it is what it is. So, moving on. The next question comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios. And he says, what do you think about the new Batwing set? What's the most... Wait, uh, there's two questions. I'm, yeah, I'm confused. Um, okay, so, the Lego Batwing. I'm not really a fan. I don't really care. I like Batman. Don't get me wrong, but I've never been into Lego Batman. Maybe the video games, but that's pretty much the extent of it. So... It's a cool set, but I'm not going to get it. That's for dang sure. So anyways, uh, what's your most favorite Lego Boba Fett variant? I think I said that right. By the way, wait, is that another question? No. Uh, by the way, you're my favorite gaming YouTuber. Well, I'm not really a gaming YouTuber, but thank you. Uh, I love your Battlefront gameplays. I'm never playing Battlefront 2 again. Traitor! Um, <laughs> uh, I don't really have a favorite Boba Fett variant. I, I really, I like the old school Boba Fett more than the new one though. Um, because I don't like the bluish gray arms that they gave him. And like, I like Boba Fett with gray arms, light gray. So it just looks better. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Next question comes from Tree Man, And he says, have you ever watched any of the Jurassic Park or World films if so which one is your favorite yes i have i have seen them all they are all fantastic um actually i guess i shouldn't say that um so my very absolute favorite is the very first one jurassic park like the the very first one uh that is just the best in my opinion and then i really love the 
basically the second half of the second movie. So it starts off a little bit boring, kind of lame, but then once the uh, T-Rex gets loose in the city of the second movie, it's just so good. Um, so first one, second one, and then I love Jurassic World, like the first one. Then I love Jurassic Park 3, and then I guess Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That movie's garbage. I don't really care for Jurassic Park 3 or Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, but I like them all. They're all good movies. I'm really excited for Jurassic World 2 that's supposed to come out. Or I'm sorry, Jurassic World 3. That's supposed to come out in 2022, I think. I feel like I heard that somewhere. Um, so, yeah. Um, definitely we'll be watching that movie in the near future. So, anyways, our very last question of the day comes from Burner Builds. I think I said your name right. I think I used to call you Burner, so I do apologize for that. But he says, what are your three biggest Lego sets? Let's go take a look. So, the first one is Kylo Ren Shuttle, set number 75256. This is probably my biggest play set. Um... It's the one from 2019, not the other year, the gray one. I can't remember what year that's from. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my biggest playset, so that's very snazzy. And also, this is just such a beautiful build. This is my favorite set from last year as well. So, uh, yeah. And so that was number three. Number two is the UCS Slave 1, set number 75060. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this thing is probably one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, UCS sets. This thing is just so, so, so gorgeous. Um, pretty big, as you can see, so that's why I'm holding my camera. So, uh, there's the back. Gorgeous build. So, that is my second biggest lego star wars set but before i show you my third one can you guess what it is guess, 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 guess. i said guess the ucs tie fighter it is set number 75095 and it is just absolutely gorgeous this is my biggest lego star wars set i have it is just so big, like, look how big those wings are. They cast a giant shadow because of how big the wings are. That is just, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, I also really love how you can, like, spin it on the stand. You're not really, you know, supposed to, but you can, and that's just so cool. So that is the, or those are, I should say, the three biggest LEGO Star Wars sets that I have in my collection. So yeah, there is your answer. Those are my three biggest LEGO Star Wars sets. I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that, but I'm going to kind of simplify it just a little bit. What is your biggest LEGO Star Wars set in your collection? So comment down below if you want. But so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for all your questions. I'm out of breath right now, so I do apologize if I'm breathing really heavily. Anyways, that is all for today, so thank you all very much for watching. Remember to comment a question or two down below so I can answer it in the next episode, and I'll pin my favorite to the top. But until then, take care, have a wonderful, fantastic, super epic, fan dozy lovely, I don't know, I'm running out of words to say, day.